Hi there, Amanda from Kid Museum here with another turtle art video. This time, we'll learn about how to create and define your own procedures in turtle art. Let's try this out using the polka dot code from the previous video. In this code, we told the turtle to create a circle of random color, random size, and random place. And we told the turtle to do that 50 times. If I come over here to these yellow blocks and add this block here, it's called a hat. This lets me define my own procedure. Basically, I can create a new block that I can then use in other parts of the code. So I'll take the code to create a random circle from here. I'll leave out the repeat and I'll put it here under the hat. Then I can type into the hat and call this whatever I want. I'll call it circle. Now, if I look back over here, I now have a block that says circle that I can use in my code. So instead of putting all of this code in here, I can just put the block that says circle. This becomes really helpful when you have multiple different things that you want to use several times in your code. So why don't we try adding another procedure into this code? We already know how to make a square, so I'll do that really quick. Repeat four times, forward, and then turn. And I'm going to make it a little smaller. I also want the squares to be random, just like the circles were. So instead of recreating all this code, I'm going to hold down shift and drag it over and that duplicates it. And I'm going to get rid of the circle here and I'm going to replace it with the square. Now I'm going to get another hat block and I'm going to put the square code in there and I'm going to type in square. And now I have a square block to use as well. So in my repeat, I can alternate between circle and square. I'll leave the 50 there. I'll throw a little clean before. This code will make 50 circles and 50 squares. Thanks for watching. Check out the next video to learn how to make variables in turtle art.